When you have finished creating your project, the next step is going to be printing. So you go to Menu, Print, you'll find your Print Preview screen. I'd like to kind of go over the layout of the land here. At, up top, you'll have your drop down for all of your printers that you have hooked up at the time. So you see the three printers that I have available. Um, manage printers. This is where you can come in and change the name or update to the latest firmware version. And it'll also show you the ID that is displayed on the printer so you know which printer you're printing to. Next, you'll have calibrate, which is important to do every time you switch material. It'll show you a picture of where the sensor I should be located. Right now I have the continuous strip 2009 in, so there's no calibration necessary because it's a continuous material and there's no gaps in the material. But it's always important to have your sensor in the proper spot. When I switch to chiclets or a different media, I'll have to come back in here and make sure I have my sensor eye where the picture shows, and then it'll give me a calibrate now option, which will just spit out a few pieces of material to make sure it's calibrated and you have the right media in, and you'll be good to go. Out here under settings, you'll have print darkness, which I always recommend making minor changes. If you make too fast changes or too high of changes, you could cause damage to the ink ribbon or start getting the ink ribbon stuck to the media. So always make small changes and run test prints. Print speed, your options are two or three. Um, default is two, I always recommend just leaving it there. It prints pretty fast right there. Correction factor is if your media is not lining up with your blocks, um, you can stretch it out or shrink it. After cut trailing position, that's for the cutter. If the cutter's not lining up where it's supposed to be cutting, you can make adjustments there. Vertical offset and horizontal offset are important on most medias. Um, if you click this little question mark, it'll show you which way to adjust it. And this is per millimeter. So if you're just off a little bit, I'd come in here and change it to 0.5 or negative 0.5, whichever way this is kind of showing me. Um, and then run test prints. And once you get it dialed, these settings will save per template and you should only have to make minor changes after that. And that's the print preview screen. Thank you.